Hi guys, uh, in today's video I will tell you which connection or the two types of connections suitable for your solar hybrid inverter that means your PV inverter or your strange inverter don't forget my name is Merika Emanuel your favorite solar energy guide you can do it by subscribing to my channel and share this video with your friends so today I'll be telling you the two types of connections suitable for your solar hybrid inverter when I talk about solar hybrid inverter I'm talking about inverter with uh, PV input range PV in range from uh, 120 volts to 500 or oh, let's say 1000 volt DC yeah because there is some uh, grow watt inverter that have up to 1000 volt uh, input so if you have any inverter that have the range of 120 to 1000 volt DC that is a strange inverter or a solar hybrid inverter and i know a lot of people get confused when it comes to connecting panels for you know such inverters so the two types of connection suitable for this type of inverter is either series or parallel series parallel cannot go with this type of inverters so these are the suitable types of connection for these types of inverter any inverter that have input a uh, range of 120 to 1000 volt dc i'm talking about hybrid inverter yeah solar hybrid inverter inverters that come with inbuilt charge controller of you know there are 6000 watt power 8000 watt power or 10000 watt power so for example if you have let's assume you have a 5 kv inverter right you have a 5 kv inverter which is a 48 volt uh, system and uh, the MPPT, the, the input MPPT can handle up to let's say 6000 watts from the solar panels and according to the technical specification this inverter can only work or the charge controller in this inverter can only work when it gets voltage of 120 and above so let's assume this 5kv 48 volt can only accept 120 to 500 volt uh, DC VDC right so and uh, you have a 12 unit of 500 watt solar panels you want to apply on this very inverter what are the connection or what connection is suitable for this you can actually go with any of this connection either the series or the para series and that also depends on the open voltage of that solar panel you will be using so assuming you have a uh, six unit of 500 watt solar panels you want to use on this very 5 kv 48 volt which can handle maximum of 6,000 watt power, uh, six units of 500 watt solar panels, right? Here you have six units of 500 watt solar panels. With this six units of 500 watt solar panels, you can only do one connection or one type of connection, which is series connection. Because let's assume this 500 watt, each one is 40 volts with 10 amps, right? 40 volts with 10 amps. 40 volts is open voltage. Yes, you know, open voltage used to be higher compared to closed voltage. So this panel or this uh, 500 watt solar panel have uh, 40 volt open voltage. So all these panels, you have to connect them in series because if you do para series connection here, if you connect this to this to this in series, then connect this to this to this in series, then parallel it to this, your inverter will not power up because here you have 40 volt, you have another 40 volt, you have another 40 volt. So 40 plus 40 plus 40 will give you 120 volt. That 120 volt is open voltage. So once it's closed, you will see like 90 volt or maybe 100 volt coming to your hybrid inverter and your inverter will not pick. So the best connection to do with this six unit of 500 watt solar panels on this very 5 kV inverter is to connect everything in series. So here you have minus. You have negative, 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 negative. Then you have uh, your positive. Yeah, you your positive here. Positive, 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 positive. Now you have to connect these whole panels in series. So you connect this to this, this to this, this to this, this to this, then this to this. Now you've connected the whole six panels in series. The amount of open voltage will be 240 volts uh, DC, and uh, the amount of current will be 
10 amps why the amount of power from this six unit of three, uh, 500 watt solar panels will be 3000 watts i know you may be wondering but for my battery to charge very fast or to charge very very good i have to generate close to 40 amps or 60 amps look at each of these panels is generating 10, 10 amps connected in series we generated more voltage compared to current right so once you give this 240 volt to your solar hybrid inverter the solar hybrid inverter will do a lot of you know work a lot of energy conversion and give you around 50 to that 60 amps which your solar panels are supposed to generate that is how a solar hybrid inverter works once you give it little current it will do a lot of energy conversion through that voltage and give you the amount of current each of these solar panels is supposed to give connected in parallel but mind you this 5 kV is capable of handling 6000 watt solar power so as you may want to use 12 units of 500 watt solar panels which connection are we supposed to do now with 12 units of 500 watt solar panels you can do these two type of connection either the series or the para series connection here we did a series connection the next one we are going to try to do a para series connection right with the 12 unit of 500 watt solar panels so here assuming we've got another six unit again of 500 watts we want to add to our system we have another six unit of 500 watt solar panels that we want to add to this our system you can actually connect these whole panels in series or you do para series connection but from the voltage series can go and para series can go because each of these panel is giving 40 volts when you combine the whole 40 volts together uh, that's in series you generate 480 volts and that 480 volt is an open voltage once you connect it to your uh, solar hybrid inverter your solar hybrid inverter will close the voltage and it will come down to like 380 volt or maybe 420 volt and your solar hybrid inverter will still work fine are we together so if, so since we've done series connection with this guy and we are sure that our hybrid inverter will pick and work normal we are now going to do para series with this remaining six so that you understand uh the whole stuff here we have our negative 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 and negative then we have a positive we have a positive 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 then positive don't forget you have to series these guys also so series this to this this to this this to this this to this then this to this now <clears throat> you've generated another 240 volts with the same 10 amps and 3000 watt power so you've repeated the same thing you did here with this six unit of uh, 500 watt solar panels you still have here all you have to do is to parallel this to this right then you have your negative here you parallel this let me use the red marker so that i don't get confused so you parallel this to this you have your positive here now the amount of power will increase and the amount of current will also increase but our voltage will still remain 240 volt dc now you have uh, since you've done your connection in para series here you have six series you have another six series so this is six series two parallel are we together so you now generate 240 volts with 20 amps and 6000 power whether you do the whole panels in series from here coming down here in series you will still get the same amount of power which is 6000 watts so for a solar hybrid inverter that have input voltage of 120 to 500 volt dc this is the best suitable connection for it either you go with series or you go with you know para series here we have 12 units of 500 watt solar panels and this ion inverter can handle up to 6000 watt power so it means we can do the whole 12 panels in series or we do six series two parallel and that is what we just did here so if you have a solar hybrid inverter go with any of this connection don't consider parallel connection for a solar hybrid inverter because the open voltage of a solar panel whether 500 whether 400 and something volt will not be more than 60 volts so your inverter will not peak your inverter demands 120 volts and above for it to work proper so if you find this video useful 
don't forget to subscribe to my channel don't forget to turn on your notification button for more useful tips like this